Okay, I'm going to try this video with a little uh, a little different camera here. Um, see how it comes out. Um, my Nikons have such terrible autofocus; they're just freaking annoying to use. You got to preset the focus for one spot, and then um, you can't move it anyway. This little knife here is the Harns uh, Viper. Uh, comes in a box just like uh, all the CRKT knives do. And you know CRKT knives usually are pretty expensive for what they are. They're, they got some pretty cool little designs though. I bought this one uh, for a buddy. I'm going to make 10 bucks on it. So um, I think I paid about $14 for this blade. Uh, notable thing about it is the uh, quality of manufacturer is pretty good on it. Um, and it uh, has 9 CR18 MOV steel, which is pretty good steel. At least I like it. Um, now I know the formulation evidently doesn't come out the same. I've checked into it. But I will tell you that 8 CR13 is a good steel, and this is a considerably better steel, in my opinion. I personally view it similar to 154 CM, although I, I understand the metallurgy doesn't ma doesn't match up. But that's personally the way I view it, as far as uh, the type of steel it is and the quality of steel it is. So take it or leave it for that. Uh, I haven't assembled all the specifications on this blade, so you'll just have to. I'm going to eyeball some of this stuff. The uh, blade is a flat ground. Thumb disc. Um, I'm going to switch hands here. I'm holding the camera with one hand. So, but uh, G10, very, very grippy G10 on this blade. Um, that would be something notable about it. Thumb disc. It's a liner lock. The liner mates up fully with one side, which I kind of like. I personally, I don't dig liner locks. I don't trust them, but. This is a pretty good little liner lock, though. You can see, I think you can see the lock up on that. It's fully, it's right lined up with the left side of the blade, which is really the way I like a liner lock. And you've got some room there for movement if you use this life knife a lot. But uh, pretty smooth action. It was smooth out of the box. I'm not very good at flipping these, but there you go. Flips open pretty good. It's a nice smooth. Like I said, I'm not the most coordinated dude in the world, so when it looks like these locks are hard, these are hard to unlock, they're really not. It's just I'm kind of a Delquai when it comes to that kind of stuff. So Here's the other side of it. Nice pocket clip, nice long pocket clip, pretty deep carry, which personally I could care less about, but some people get really sensitive about the carry, where how it carries. I don't really care myself too much. Looks like uh, tip down. Some people probably wouldn't like that either. But uh, again, I don't really care. As long as it's not an auto knife. I won't carry an auto knife unless it has a lock on it. Um, personally. I had one open in my pocket one time and I was lucky. Since I do take blood thinners, I was lucky to escape that with my life. <laughs> it was a pretty wicked blade. It was an Elshawitz. I forgot to set the lock on it, and I was watching Nothing Fancy's videos, and he's he doesn't think they need locks, and so I, I don't know, I didn't pay much attention, I, I stuck it in my pocket without engaging the lock, and that son of a bitch opened in my pocket, and I'm telling you what, that is a wicked blade, it's a Tanto style uh, 154 CM blade, but anyway, I was lucky I did not get my femor femoral artery with that blade in my pocket opened up like that, it was... A miracle that I did not sustain some a serious injury. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this particular knife. This is going to be a very short little video. It says Harns on there, and I think on this side it says 9CR18. So I just want to give you a look at the blade. There's a couple other videos out there on it. It's flat ground. The quality of manufacture is very good. Um, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um... It's a long but skinny blade. I'd say that's about, oh, if you look at the cutting edge here, I'd say that's about 3.75 inches. It's a pretty long blade. Um, 
course, if you were thrusting it into something, you'd be the thumb disc would get in your way at about three and a half inches. So that's one nice thing about a flipper if you're carrying it for tactical use, which most of us don't. But I mean, if you pushed it into tactical use because you had it on you and you needed it, the nice thing about a flipper is you don't have any thumb discs or thumb studs in the way. The entire blade is usable. And on a, bl a blade like this, or even some of my uh, cold steel blades, I lose about a half an inch because of the thumb stud on it if I was thrusting it into something. So, But the usable cutting edge on this blade is quite, quite long. Um, blade's machined real nice. Like I said, I like 9CR18. I think it's a pretty good steel. I don't like it you know, as much as I do D2 or something, but, but I do like it. Uh, I definitely would take 9CR18 over 8CR13, but um, you can see the Viper, the kind of the diamond back pattern on this handle here. <clears throat> Regular pivot. Let's see. Yeah, seems like a real nice little clip. Seems like the tension's probably about right on it. Okay, nice thick liners on it. Um, they've actually milled a little bit of the liners out on this, believe it or not. It's, the weight's pretty decent on it. I, I don't have a scale, but I'm going to guess that we're at about 4.8 ounces, maybe 5 ounces tops. It's pretty good for, a, you know, with this thick of liners and everything. They have some of them milled out. Um, they wanted to keep the knife balanced, so because of this liner lock they could not mill out some of this here but they did mill some ovals out up here on the top side of these liners on both sides i'd say they reduced it by maybe half an ounce maybe over what it would have been yeah so it's a nice little blade okay so i just wanted to give you a look at it the the manufacturer on it's really nice it's got nice thick liners this is a good little working knife if you wanted to EDC knife. This is a very it would be a very good choice. Okay, uh, I think that's uh, long enough. Don't want to run on and on. Okay, so that'll uh, that'll end my little look at this Harns Viper. I can't remember. I think I got this on Gearbest. So it takes. One thing I found out Gearbest is actually not. They're Chinese products, but when you buy from Gearbest, it's a Netherlands company. So that's why they come Netherlands Post instead of... <laughs> now, you are gonna you get stuff in 12 to 14 days if you do e-packet from China, but these are Chinese products. If they're buying them, they're shipping them to the Netherlands, and then you're getting them through Netherlands Post, not, not from e-packet from China, so... That's why these blades these blades take about 30 days to get to me, a full month for me to, to get them in Kansas City. Um, but a lot of people don't realize they're coming from the Netherlands, and they're not coming from China. So anyway, that'll end my presentation. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.